Once downloaded, double-click on your macro page file to add it to Studio One. Once in Studio One, select the macro icon. Go to the drop-down list and select Toolbox Magic Toolbar. Then do the same in the editor page. Now you're set. The first section is a quick start area to get the job done in one click. You can create a basic setup to jot down ideas quickly. The next one adds a pattern in just one click. Next to it, you'll find two Impact XT icons. Our macro does a couple of things in one go. The blue icon loads an instance of Impact XT with a default kit and creates a pattern, saving you multiple steps and time. The gray Impact XT does the same, but with an empty kit. The Convert selection makes it easy to turn your patterns into individual tracks, perfectly named. This renders instrument tracks, a time saver when you want to convert your NoteFX presets and save them as music loops, for example. This extracts MIDI to the chord track in just one click. This one's great to turn audio into MIDI. The drop-down menu converts MIDI notes to match specific Impact XT pads. Here's a concrete example. Okay, I like the groove, but I'd like to use my own samples instead. First, let's extract the MIDI information. Load an Impact XT instance. Drag and drop the MIDI notes to the instrument track. Assign the result to the pad you want. Press play. Done. You can try different options. As you can see, the event also gets renamed, so you always know what you're dealing with. But you can also be creative and assign the result to a virtual instrument. The Remix section will always bring a smile to your face. It can virtually remix anything you throw at it. Music loops, beats, vocals, anything. A single click will slice the audio, load it into Sample XT, and create something unique and groovy. The red remix button will just create more events that you can try or interchange. Be warned, it's really addictive. This will slice any audio event and map anything into Sample 1 XT to be played instantly. It's a pretty straightforward option to reverse the audio of selected events. This feature requires to be accessed from the editor page. So, double-click on your event to open the editor and select the Split menu. There, you'll find three sections. One with classic splits on the grid. A second with some rhythmic splits. Note that you'll also find an undo menu which can be pretty handy to revert your instrument part to its previous state when trying variations, and a third dedicated to audio. This will split the source based on its transients. It can be useful to rearrange or drop samples here and there on Impact XT or Sample 1 XT, for example. For convenience, we've added shortcuts to Studio One's Note FX, which can also be essential to create some fortunate accidents. This feature requires to be accessed from the editor page. Load an instance of Impact XT, create an empty event, and select what you're after. All results will be assigned to the right pads. That's the beauty of the consistency we've set up with Toolbox across the board. We take care of the boring tasks so that you don't have to. This contains the usual suspects for pitch and time duties. You'll also find a macro control icon to access the panels instantly. This menu loads different setups and does all the routing for you in four different flavors. All that in just one click. The bus icon will assign your selected tracks to a bus. The VCA icon will do the same for VCAs. Another handy tool, just select your area of interest by selecting your events. Click on the focus icon, and voila! The view drop-down list will instantly recall three great features. A chord view mode, already set up to display your chords input. Time display. Or unveil the record panel. And last but not least, a cleanup section to keep your sessions tight and clean.
For more videos like this, click on the subscribe button right here on the screen. Activate the bell to get notified on our upcoming series of tips and tricks for Studio One and Toolbox. Thanks for watching.